I'm going to give uh, Slime Foot and Hapatra a second try. Uh, earlier today, I uh, made a, a series of videos uh, building this deck, this commander deck, based only on standard cards. And uh, it just wasn't a good build. Uh, I didn't think it through carefully enough, number one, which I need to. And then also, this build is actually showing the limitations of using standard only cards in a commander build. Uh, I'm still going to go through with it. I deleted the videos and then I said, well, let me have a second go at it uh, and see if I can uh, at least see the limitations, uh, show the, the deck as a, uh, a sketch. Uh, and then work on it uh, by buying better singles as they rotate out and then also expanding it to uh, all the other cards that I have in my stash. For now, this is really only a build showing that this is not with, com with standard only cards. I don't consider this deck to be really synergetic. Uh, I, I did pull two Ramon ops and I have one in here and I think I can make it work but the one thing that I notice with the current standard, why it needs a core set and why hopefully it'll get better after the core set and after core sets come in every year is there really aren't that many cards with the same effect sometimes. And the key effect, I know at least for making Ramonat work and even for making this whole deck works, is green cards, green sorceries that drop things in your graveyard. And I think I only have one or two cards in here that do that, and that is uh, really deficient. Uh, this deck really needs, I would say, four, five, six cards that would drop uh, cards into the graveyard uh, for it to, I, for what I would consider it to be a, a functioning deck. Uh, so right now, this is why I'm I'm only gonna call this deck a draft. Okay, it's just, uh, I hate to use the word draft because draft is using magic for something else. A sketch. Okay, because right now I do have these two cards that will allow me to say drop lands for Ramunap, drop creatures so I can bring them back with my black spells that bring creatures back. It, this is not enough. I need at least two more of these for what I would consider to be a fun uh, working deck. Still, I'm going to go ahead and go through the deck building uh, as if, as if this was going to be a working deck. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I don't think it is. Uh, but I'm still going to go through and just show the cards that I have in my selection. And then I'll think off, off camera on how to really make this deck a working commander deck. Uh, the enchantment this deck works with uh, is, you know, it's just one card of, out of the 100. Uh, you drop negative one, negative one counters and you get tokens. You're gonna wanna get tokens uh, because uh, Hapatra drops you tokens when you drop the negative one, negative one counters. Uh, and then also Slimefoot uh, can make Sapperlings. Uh, so you're making tokens and then also Bontu. Bontu is gonna sacrifice stuff uh, and all, you're going to want to sacrifice to Bontu, and, uh, and that will allow it to attack. So you want to be able to be attacking with Bontu as often as possible. That's, that's kind of like the MO uh, for this deck. But again, the fuel, in my opinion, for these types of decks, these graveyard intensive decks, is you got to figure ways to uh, consistently feed your graveyard, not just by sacking creatures, but also uh, by doing other shenanigans like dropping things in the graveyard and then fishing them out. Um, Alright, so here's a three, uh, three drop critter. We're going to go through the critters. I already laid out what the enchantment is, so there's, there's a couple of cards already that are in the deck to begin with. Okay, and I, I know the previous build uh, video that I deleted, this is what I should have said at the beginning of that video. And I didn't. So at the end, I was like, you know, if I'm not interested in watching my own video of a build, I'm going to delete it. And that's what I did. <laughs> and that's what I always have done and will continue to do. So anyways, these cards are in. These are three non-creature spells that are already in. Uh, and then in this case, I've got 
a total of uh, <coughs> six good good stuff creatures. So of course the two commanders that you can flip back and forth with, uh, then Bontu, and then this dude, which you know I'm gonna use him. You can get him back from the graveyard. Uh, then this guy, uh, which uh, you'll put a, a negative one, negative one counter on a, on a creature you control. Uh, and then when it attacks, you can remove the counter and put it on something else, hopefully something your opponent uh, uh, controls. So that's good. And then this big dude uh, also is pretty good. Uh, it gets, it gets uh, plus one, plus ones for each land you control and each land card in your graveyard. Uh, so that's a central card, I think, to the deck. In my opinion, and also I'm gonna I'm gonna fish out Ramunap just to put him out and say, and you know I don't think Ramunap is a, is gets the, the build around respect that it deserves in this deck. Um, so again, it's just a sketch, but I, I love Ramunap. I've played it a lot in standard casual decks, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, it's really Crucible of War of, of Worlds on a critter, and I think that's great. Okay, so right now, before we even start, our count is seven critters uh, that I know are going to be in for sure, and three non-creatures. All right, so let's go through the creatures and select out. I've already, I've already mana ordered these cards uh, to make the build go a little faster. I'm not sure about this guy. Now, I there's a few cards in here that say if you control an artifact, you get a bonus. So one thing that I also did not do in the in the video that I deleted, uh, because it, ju it just I just wasn't doing enough of what I like to do in a build, which is have fun and make sure that it is fun and that it is sort of working. I'm going to separate out all my artifact creatures, and I think I'm going to put them in first. Something that I did not do. Uh, in the in the first go at this build, okay, because I do have a few things I care about artifacts, and I and I think I want them in. So these are seven uh, artifact creatures. Uh, they're all I think reasonable for casual death touch. Uh, this guy is not even a casual critter; it's a good solid critter, and you can fish it out of your graveyard. Uh, this is definitely a, a casual, you know, uh, limited jank card. Uh, same with this, and when it dies, you can return tar uh, target artifact card from your graveyard, and that can include another artifact creature. Value card for sure in all the toolkit, in the, in, in the Kaladesh toolkit, and I think even in the Amonkhet toolkit. And then also, uh, when this dies, you get a token. And you want tokens so you can sack them. Uh, for for making bone to to make bone uh, bone to uh, be able to uh, go into combat. Okay, so those are seven, and I'm gonna put them in right now. I'm gonna put them in and then keep going. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure about this guy. Um, guy's value when you hit it with kicker, it gets bigger, so I like it. Low flyers are always very useful. It's got. A couple of cards in the Battle Cruiser era get this little thing uh, where if you have like seven, six, seven, eight mana, you can do something wonderful. Yeah, why not? Uh, when you sack this, uh, do that, you get a land. That's really good. Then in this one, uh, it's an ETB, enters the battlefield. Uh, target creature, get minus one, minus one. It's now one of your creatures. Uh, so that's fine. Same with this one target creature is now your creature most of the time so I'm gonna say yes and I already have different I'm already messing up my piles so this is what I don't want set it aside and these I do want okay so actually I'm just gonna lay them down right there uh, not sure about this one yes it gets a big bonus but it is not a flyer uh, a bear I'll think about it now this one, if you control an artifact, it gets plus one, plus zero. I'm going to say yes, because I took care of my artifact count already. And I, and I also have some regular non-creature artifacts. Uh, this one, uh, when it exerts, gets a boost and death touch. That's good, but I'll think about it. Uh, I always like this guy, because when you kick it, when you kick it 
uh, you cost this card. That's very good. Uh, and this guy replaces himself and is a foil. This one's dangerous. It's dangerous because it keeps pinging you for one as you keep putting tokens on it. I'm not so sure. Um, I'm not playing the energy game, but some energy cards feed themselves, and this is one of them, so I'll take it. Uh, this guy is value all the way. Uh, this one, uh, it's all about, it, it allows you to, uh, to increase your mana pool, so yes. Uh, this is a mana dork playing with the minus, minus, minus one, minus one tokens, and that's really nice. I like it a lot. It's also a foil. Uh, in this case, uh, this guy, when it attacks, you may pay uh, energy. You're not going to have a ton of energy, but you can create a token. That's, that's good in this deck. Uh, and then this one, when you exert, gets plus two, plus two. So we'll set it aside. I'm not so sure. Uh, then in this case, this flyer uh, gets plus one, plus zero. If you control an artifact, and we took care of our artifact count already to, to, to some extent. Uh, same here. Uh, you can sack an artifact or a creature. Uh, and that's you're, you're going to be able to do either one. Uh, but... Um, but it's all about putting a counter, so I'm not going to take it yet. Uh, then you need tokens, so this is going to be in. Uh, this one uh, gets a negative one, negative one downside, but look at it, it's already a 3-4-3. Three, three. Uh, in this case, uh, it gets boosted when you discard a card, that's good. That's going to feed your graveyard. Uh, if you want to make two land drops and you have Ramunab, for example, you can do that with this card. Uh, then this is your sack outlet, so I'll take them. Uh, death touch, but I'll think about it. Uh, uh, fabricate, because you get the token, so you want to have uh, fodder for, for Bantu, yes. When you exert it, you draw a card. I like that a lot. Um, when it dies, you put a, a counter on something else. I like that too. Um, when it enters the battlefield, you can put a negative one negative quant, uh, one counter on, a, on one of your creatures as a downside, but it's a three three four. I'll leave it for now. Uh, this one can clean, you know, so it can clean your counters. So for each kind of counter, put one or remove it. So I like this a lot. Um, gets minus one minus one for each card in your hand. You're not going to be having a lot of cards in your hand. Um, Grave Digger will, uh, will return creature cards from your graveyard, and you'll want to do that. Uh, fabricate on this guy is good. You're going to be creating a token. This one also has the same ish thing of uh, you put a negative one, negative one counter on a creature you control, and it's already uh, got good stats, so I'll, I'll take it. Um, improvise. I don't think we have enough artifacts. We're going to have some artifacts, but it's not like half the deck is artifacts. Not, not, not in my must-choose pile. I have about 20 of these from the toolkits, but it, it's not a card that I want to play in this deck. Um, I don't think so. Fabricate, fabricate, dude. Yeah, sure. Um, then this one also has fabricate, so yes. Uh, and this one uh, does the sapperling, so I would say yes. So right now, when we do a count, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to go over 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we got four, uh, 4 to get rid of. Okay? So, of course, these are our shoe-ins. Yeah, even this guy. Sure. But then, we wanted to keep a good count of artifacts. Uh, that's seven. I still think I want to not do this dude. So, even though I do want to keep my artifacts, uh, I can have a reasonable count while not having... Um, cards that I think are kind of weak. 
So at least one, that one dude had to go and this guy to, well, eh, no, I, I like that. So one, looking for things that are not that great. Um, yeah, yeah, that one. And then I think, um, I think I know which one I also want. I could get rid of a nap. It wouldn't be a big deal. And that would be this dude. So that's it. So I'm going to close out this video. These are my creatures. Uh, in the next video, I'll, I'll go into the non-creatures.